Welcome to another video on how to easily program your animated GIF images onto your ESP32 device using the Chili Pepper workspace. Uh, it is now really easy to do this. Uh, here's some examples of some of the animated GIFs I was able to create because it's so easy to do. Uh, and I'm going to take you through how to do this on your own. Probably the most useful thing is for weighting indicators. All right, I'm going to show you how to program your animated GIFs onto your ESP32 by going to the Chili Pepper homepage and then clicking it to the ESP32 workspace. This is the ESP32 device I'm going to use. It's this uh, TT Go with this um, add-on like $1.50 OLED screen. I've also got another one that I uh, was doing a lot of programming on earlier and then even um, this really nice uh, other, I think it's a Wemos. Um, okay, so now that we're in here, I need to, first thing I need to do is plug this in. Oops. Okay, so we got our green light. And then over here, you wanna hit refresh, it should show up and then connect to it. And there we go, we've got our booting. You, I always sort of hit heat to make sure I'm in sync. Notice those yellow check marks mean I'm not. So once you hit reset, there you go, now you're in sync. Okay, so I'm gonna go open up a sample file that I have uh, called CP Drop. So you drag and drop it, see that blue highlight? And then it immediately notif notices it's 24 frames, it's 34 by 64. And when it's done looping through all the frames generating the code, you get these three new tabs. So this tab right here says run this file first. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. And the reason you wanna run this is that this is pretty long. Um, and so if you try to upload this and compile it, you very likely will run out of memory uh, if you have a lot of frames. Um, and so when you stream it, it actually creates it sort of frame by frame uh, and writes it out to uh, a file that's ready to go. Um, and so once the file is up there, we should be okay. And then we will go ahead and upload this. Uh, in fact, what I can do is I can just hit upload and run already. And that kind of puts it in the queue. And then this one I'll say upload and run and that puts it in the queue. And that will get us uh, an XBM file created on the device file list. I'll go ahead and show that once um, everything's uploaded. I'll go ahead and refresh the file list. I'll go ahead and speed this up for you here since it takes a little bit of time to upload. Okay, and now our animation is playing. Look at that, 24 frames. So notice that pause too in the middle. I just wanna show you in the code. When it creates the animated GIF, it creates this library and it has the delay in each frame. And this one, you'll notice, stands out at a thousand. So that's a one second pause. Um, this is really just your helper library. You just get this nice little require. And then you can do things like anim play or anim stop or even like an anim show frame. So for instance, I can go ahead and say anim stop and that'll stop the animation from running. And then I could do something like anim show frame uh, this one's 24 frames, so let's do something like show frame 10. Um, and so that's uh, all you need to control your animated GIF. I wanted to also show you, if I hit refresh here to see the list, uh, this was CP Drop GIF. So if I go to CP Drop, this XBM file is what was created when we streamed the CP drop gif write.lua file. And so it's about 30 kilobytes worth of uh, image data. And each frame is just in there. And then the library knows how to reach each frame because it knows the offset. Okay, now we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna go ahead and program this guy uh, with a brand new animated gif that we download off the internet. So I got that going, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab and just go to images.google.com, and we'll do something like type animated GIF, cool. And let's just grab this guy, he looks pretty cool. All right, he's nice and animated there. So I'm gonna right click, save image as, and it looks like stripes1.gif. Okay, we'll download that. I'll go to where 
did I get that in here stripes? Yeah, right here. And then we'll drag that into Photoshop. And we'll see what this GIF image looks like. Okay, it looks nice and big. We'll play it a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna image size it down. Which, here we go. Okay, so I know I'm at 128 by 64. So I'll just go 64 by 64. Size that down. And now when we play it, it looks nice and cool. And uh, I'm going to now just go ahead and say File, Save for Web and Devices. And I'm going to turn off Transparency. Remember, you've got to upload a black and white image. And so I'm just doing no dither black and white. And if I play it here, we have something that looks pretty reasonable. You can play around with some of like the diffusion dither, which actually looks kind of cool. Um, you know, the pattern dither. Uh, let's just go with Diffusion, just for the heck of it. So I stop, we'll save that out, and stripes-1.gif. Okay, now we'll go back to the workspace. We will go find stripes1, drag it in, and that's got 30 frames, so it's looping through every frame right now. I'm going to close these files while it's doing this, because I don't need them. And while that's creating, oh, what happened here? You know, it might not like that file name. Yeah, let's rename that. Let's just call it stripe cool.gif. And now we'll drag it in. Let's see if I can close this. Okay, so that's looping through the frames. And while that is doing it, let's close this. And we will connect. Okay, good. We got our stripe cool, stripe cool GIF. Uh, now I got to connect. Now I'm getting an error there, probably because this runs on a different COM port. Yeah, there we go, COM7. Now, if you don't get it connecting, sometimes serial port JSON server gets wacky. Just hit this restart button, reconnect. That kind of cleans it out. And then there you go. Now it's all connected. Okay, and then we'll hit reset here to resynchronize it. And we'll hit heap. Okay, great. Now we've got the stripe cool GIF right. Sounds like there's some cop cars driving by the house there. Uh, so at 30 frames, let's this time, if you hover over this, you'll notice there's this extra little um, hold down the control key to do a bulk run. So I'm going to hold down the control key. And what this does is it fully uploads this um, these set of files into Seraport JSON server first. And then that uh, sends the commands down to your device in more of a bulk fashion. Now it does cause some pausing in your browser initially, but it's worth it because I think it uploads about three times faster. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the video here for a couple seconds. Okay, looks like our frames are uploaded. Uh, notice we got the 30 frames. It spits out the data once that's created. And then Stripe Cool. We'll hit refresh here to show the Stripe Cool file. And it is 15 kilobytes. So now we have to upload the library. So we'll just say upload there. The library um, you know, has the width and height that are generated, the frame count, what's the frame size so it knows the offset in this XBM file for each frame and then it's got the frame rates. This one all the frame rates are the same. So, you know, you barely need an array for that one, but there's a lot of animated gifs where the frame lengths are different. Okay, that's uploaded. Let's go ahead and upload and run this. And there's our beautiful animation playing just from a nice quick download of an animated gif off the web. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something cool about how to easily program your animated GIFs on your ESP32. Go give it a try on your own inside Chili Pepper.